Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of Modded Minecraft. We're here at the base and I've been processing a couple resources since last time, so smelting up and all of that. And I kind of really want to work on just improving this little system here because what I want to make is a flux bore and a flux saw in order to try and allow me to sort of dig things faster. And hopefully there'll be enough time to also continue with the Thorncraft this episode, but we'll see what happens. So, first thing I want to start on is an energy cell. Uh, I should actually have all the stuff in on me. Or in this chest, anyway. To get on with this stuff. As far as I know, I've got everything ready to go, so... Energy cell, let's bring it like that. I'm actually going to need two of these conductance coils. and two of those. Block of redstone. Nice. And... Energy cell frame, because of lead gear. That's fine, I need glass. Oh, yeah, okay, apparently I didn't have that. Okay, no, no glass. Let's go grab some glass. Grab some sand from outside, because I didn't actually think about that part of it. That bit I didn't prepare for. I thought I already had some, but I did not. Uh, I did also plant sugar cane. It's been a little while since I recorded, maybe a couple of hours or so. So, yeah, just been seeing AFK, letting things process, so all the ores are done. Do you know where all that stuff came from? Um, I've actually probably need more than this. Uh, actually, yeah, no, I think that's enough actually there. Because the other thing I need to make is a infuser, energetic infuser. Two copper gears. Uh, two transmission coils. A reception coil, and then it's just the machine frame just in here. Plus, obviously, the full glass that we need to get smelted on. So, let's have a look at this bore, the flux bore, which is the main thing I want to make here. Quite a drill head, one of those, a tool casing, and an iron here. I should put that together to make the flux ball. I'm going to upgrade it to a tier 2 one because I can. So, there we go. And I'm even going to upgrade it to this tier just because I think that means it is the same as a dying pickaxe in terms of strength at that point. Right, so put the machine frame together and then the infuser together. Done. Right, so let us deconstruct this bit, this stuff, a little bit, and we will tell the energy cell there to make it input from the, right, from the left, and output to the right, and also the top. Fuse will come on top of it, and the steam dynamo will go on the side again. Easy enough. Put some charcoal in here. And that should be good, so if it's the board in there, it will start charging up nice and easily. Um, it's got a lot of power actually that takes. Okay. So for the saw, which is this flux saw thing, it's pretty similar. I think it's pretty much the same recipe, more or less. Yeah, it looks like it. So we'll just go... Flux saw, and we'll just make a hardened one because I actually have the materials to make a reinforced one because it needs three diamonds, which I haven't got. Um, so, the purpose of this flux bore is you can dig a variety of different tunnel sizes, including 3x3 three three single block or 1x2 tunnel. So, I can do a 3x3 three three, so I can quickly clear out a nice area to work on. Or, oops. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty helpful having that. Um, yeah, I look forward to seeing how that will go in the future. Also, now we have this energy cell as well. You can also store power better, which is nice. And this flux saw can also have its size changed, so it can chop down trees more effectively. So that's the thing. It's pretty nice. And it has even got a little animation on it, it looks like, when I look at wooden stuff. Or 
Yeah, we... Oh, when I right click it, does a little animation thing for some reason. I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe it, like, got down, got down a tree or something? I don't know. Weird. That's a strange animation. Okay, so that's a thing that I've now done, so let's have a look at the book again. So, probably the thing I want to look at is in the alchemy section. Uh, so I want to probably work out what I'm making. Oh, yeah, so I want to do alchemical metallurgy. That's the first thing I want to do, so I need to make an alchemical brass ingot, which needs the element instrumentum, and I need to throw iron into crucible. So instrumentum you get from the tools. So wood wooden pickaxe there, is it? Stone hoe has it. So where's the stone hoe for now? Yes. Um the joy also is all. It's so instrumentum plus it was an iron ingot, wasn't it? So throw the hoe in. And then I throw in an iron ingot. That gives me a chemical brass. The axe in, and then I don't get what I came up with brass. I've got two of those now. Clear that out. Does make quite the mess, but hey, I'll manage, I'm sure. Right, so now that we have our chemical brass, we have to make formium, which is magic plus earth with an iron. Yes. So I can get magic, I think, from Great Woods. No, not from Great Wood. What can I get magic from? I suppose from these, right? Well, oh. I guess not. Hmm. Interesting. How do I get magic easily? None of these things seem to have it on them, do they? Beeshrooms? Is it one? Is that great? Uh, Golden Apple's got five. It's got a lot of other things that I probably don't want to be chucking into the atmosphere right now. Mm. Interesting. Where do I get magic? Oh, Flint also gives you an instrument. That is kind of helpful to know. Good. Very good. Probably using that in the future. Tissue if, um, if I mix potentia and air. Huh, okay. Potentia. I can get from redstone. One of those. And some air. Some, some of the stuff in air, right? I do do that as well. Feathers and air, I suppose. Yeah, fine. Okay, so I'll take a redstone. And a fe these two feathers, will these actually mix? Make the condition. I kind of I hope they do. Um, hmm. I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to tell. I I could chuck an iron in and see. I guess not. I'll just empty that out then. So apparently I can't mix them in there. It's a little bit annoying. So I do genuinely need to get. Oh, I can do sour spiders. Okay, that might also be a good idea. Let's do that. Let's use sour spiders. Easy enough. So, I wonder what I can do in here. Yep, I do. Sounds like this. Okay, good. I, this stuff has five each, right? And I need five and earth. Okay. Earth, I can also get from just like dirt or something. I'll do. Four. So, I can chuck in all four of these. Cool. 
Oh, so I'm going to get very nice. So they're pretty useful for a variety of things. I can make armor out of them. Tools. Pretty good stuff in there. And I can get obviously brick and tissue out of it. It's a thing. No, you charged. You charged. Very good. So I'll put that in there now. Cool. So I have a drill. That's pretty good over Right, and you see how this now charging up. So I'll just put in five more charcoal or something. I don't know. Anyway. Okay, so now I've got for me the like theory on alchemy as well. So I need to get another thermometer. Nice. Oh, wait, it has to be in there. For this thing. So, uh, I think so. So, I see if I can just scan that. Yes, I can. I can do that. Or, oh, I have to make a theory. Oh, it's a theory, right. Okay. Right. This is going to be different, right? This will be my first time doing theory stuff. Apparently. So, I want to create a theory. Do I need to have these crystals on me? No. Okay. So I need to have a potential of these crystals. I don't know how we get a potential of these crystals. I'm gonna make these anyway. Oh, I can. Okay. Whole sliver. I've got that. So I can, I can make some of those. Yeah. Redstone. How much of these is it safe? Is it? That's two. Okay. If I do two of these, I can put in ten, right? Two of these in there. Ten of those in there. Easy. Nice. Cool. Let's so take that. Now look at this. I can't see any alchemy here. Yeah. Need this one. Okay, so I need celestial notes. <laughs> How exactly do I get these? Um, they're from celestial observation. Uh, right, so if I put the sky. Do I need to have some paper with me? Possible? Do I need to look at the sun? Maybe. Uh, where's the sun? The sun's out there. There's, oh, right. I probably need to have scrubbing tools with me as well. I look at the sun. Okay, then if I wait till night time, I can have... Yeah, it's just around still one. Okay, nice. Is that all I needed? Yeah, I need solar and a lunar one of some description. I don't know if that was... What was the specific? Lunar full. Uh, that might be a bit awkward to get, actually. Right now. Does this one be? Uh... 40 alchemy, so I can get Spiritus and Pedicio. Okay, let's get a Spiritus thing. So, Spiritus is like a. I'll just put this in there for now. Spiritus. Where would I get Spiritus from? It's like ghostly things, isn't it? So, dead stuff, maybe? I guess Ghastiers would probably be the answer. I'm just wondering if there's an easier way of doing it. Um. Probably gonna have to be ghast here, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Let's make a bow. Uh, I should have some arrows. Got three. 
that's not brilliant. I'm lucky it's a full moon, but if not, I'm going to have to do the spiritist thing. What's this about? Yeah. Where is he making this? So, oh yeah, soul sand. Alright, that can might be the answer. Soul sand. I could just have my drill as well. In the uh, nether. Alright. Oh, I don't know. Alright, let's go to the nether. And let's also. What do I want to look at the moon first? Here's a tough one to decide, actually. I'm going to wait for the moon to come up first, and then I'm going to get a note of that, so... Because I might need that at some stage, whatever it is. It's probably something I'm going to have, like, a lot of notes on in the future, rather than just taking this one now, but... I don't know. It could be useful. Right, so let's take the scrub tools with me. And let's just take a quick sort of picture of them. I guess that's kind of what it is now. There's the moon there. And it's. It's a waxing thingy. Crescent moon. Mm. Alright, well, we should be able to get some soul sand at least now. That should be fine. It's a big here. Great. Definitely what I wanted when I went to the other. Yeah, yeah this draws aren't good. I've never made these drills before, so this isn't usually. Entirely. Entirely you. I think my favourite thing about this mini map is the fact that it actually, like, recognises proper areas of space, like the Nether Fortress. It's, like, properly. It's like a ledger thing. Um, yeah, so the Nether Vulture is like a physical object on the map, kind of thing. Uh, I mean, it's not as physical as like the Nether Portal or anything. But. Former error. Okay. Sure. I assume this has. That's got 10. It's enough to make one thingy. Which is like, okay, it's not great there. I'd prefer if it was. Um, Better than that. Where's this, uh, where's this soul sand at? Where's the no soul sand there into? Oop. That was a wisp. Those things are sometimes aggressive, so I'm gonna stay away from it, because I don't know how strong they are in this version. In the previous versions, it kind of depended on how good you were actually hitting small things. With your fists. Um, oh, that's all sand. Excellent. I right, grab a bunch of this. It's not exactly close. Let's put this into 3x3 three three mode. Maybe it's easier for me. I should be able to dig out quite a lot of it. Yeah. This is nice. Nice. Very good, very good. Lots of soul sand. Much pick up. Two sands, pretty much. Uh, should I give it more? Yeah, why not? Give it more. Don't want to have to come back to here, particularly often. I might need quite a lot of it. Oh, I mean, it's got three spiritus in it, so. Uh, yeah. Just a thing. Single mode. Okay, so this drill is really nice, basically. I really like this drill. Looks like. Really, really good. Oh, and, and you're back. Why is that? Okay. Sure. Let's retreat from the area. Back to the portal. 
Hmm. Just on. It's a spooky bat in the nether that attacks me. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. For anyone who noticed, I did actually make the minimap smaller because. Oh, they explode. Uh, yeah, I made it smaller because I thought it was a bit big. Why? Why are there exploding bats in the middle? I don't want this. I don't not want it, but. I also didn't really ask for it <laughs> as a thing. Definitely a gas, really close. Oh, another exploding bat. Go away. Gosh, uh, the power on this drill has really gone down, actually. Have to be careful of that. It goes down very quickly. Okay. Maybe worth ringing your dying pickaxe with me in the future, just because. With that. Well, it's still probably the same night as I left, so. That's alright. Um, cool. Let us make ourselves some more of this stuff. So, what do I need to make exactly? Alright, three of these. Actually, that's a point. It might be better to, um, instead of like doing the thing where I like shift right click to enter the cauldron, seriously, I, it might be better to like actually put quartz livers in and try and gather any resources back from it that are sitting around. Potentially. Let's uh, put that away. That away. Just an idea. Um, right, let's put the describing tools away. And then we've got paper already, so that's fine. And we need Padicio, which you get from Cobblestone, right? I think. Uh, Cobblestone is here for one. Uh, but that's also the second aspect, so it's going to be like, it's not the primary thing. Is there anyone that has it as a primary aspect? I guess Pedicio. I think I actually have a Pedicio crystal. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine. No need to worry. So I've got Tensia, Spiritus. It's one of those. Oh, I've got a Vesu. I don't actually know what that is, but sure. Cool. Uh, we're going to do Air and Ignis. Okay, so we're going to use one of these. Okay, synthesis. Final one. Uh, oh, that's not the final one. Let's go with this one. Sure. I'll grab that as well. Kind of alchemy for this. Sure, because there's anyone who didn't require resources. 15 alchemy for one precantation. Uh, that's what I want, so. Uh, precantation I got from. What was it? <laughs> Have I forgotten already what I got it from? Um, Salismondus. Or I could just go out with all of them, couldn't I? 
Yeah, I suppose I could. I don't know Colt still is sitting around. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Slots out of the way. Throw this in there. Right. Did I seriously just do that? Fuck. Threw my book in the hole. No. Well, I keep throwing things in there. No, what am I doing? What did I what have I throw in? Shit. I don't know what I threw in there. There he's done, but Fuck, I need to make another thought on that coming now. Fuck me out. I wasn't paying attention. I put my book in there. Here is. I don't know what I should put in there like this. I'll just make some stuff. Flint kind of ball. No, you can't shift it to it properly. Of course you can't. Why would you be able to do that? Get another box. And I won't throw it into the thing this time. Alright. So, in theory, I should have. Could read this now. Yep. Need to read through it. Oh, right, okay. Can't do that currently, but I have learned enough to continue going. Cool. Alright, so artifice. Complete. Hooray. So the goal of this was to make these goggles a revealing thing. Which I didn't make until now, but we can make them right now. Let's do that. To end off the episode, seeing as I don't intend to stop anyway and find out what I threw in the thing. Alright, uh, so it's two mechanical brass and then leather. Like that. And it makes these nice goggles that we need. There we go. Bam. For now, don't know what we actually gain from this, but we gain something. So, uh, have a bit of time. Right, time now. Okay, it's a long episode. Right, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Modded Survival. We'll be back next time to continue our. Progress with Thorncraft. I'm not entirely certain what we're going to do. Maybe. Uh, might look more into Artifice a little bit here. Get this uh, Infernal Furnace thing. That, looks, that sounds pretty cool. Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.